Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're welcome to United Charismatic Healing Ministry and to our live broadcast on Facebook and YouTube. And this is Pastor Eddie Cochrane, your regular host. And once again, I have come to be a blessing to you. I've come to encourage you. I've come to build your faith up. I have come to remind you of God's way and your the capabilities you have in His way. That you are able to do what God says you can do. And you are able to get to where God says you can get to. And today, I want us to talk on the subject of assurance of answer prayer. Assurance of answer prayer. That you need to be reassured that when you go on your knees, God always hears you. That confidence will build your prayer life up and will build your confidence in knowing that when you call on God, He hears and He answers. Amen. Because the most frustrating place to be is when you pray and you don't get results to your prayers. When you pray and you don't hear God answer you, it gets you frustrated and eventually you will throw in the towel. But when you get your prayers answered, that it gives you the confidence to go back to God in prayer over and over again. Let's share a word of prayer before we start. Heavenly Father, we are most grateful and we're so thankful in the name that is above every other name. We thank you for life. We thank you for help. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for all things that pertain to life and godliness you have bestowed upon us freely. That in you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being. Our confidence is in you. Our hope is in you. Our trust is in you. We're looking up to you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, we have come once again to hear from you. Speak through me. Empty me of myself and fill me afresh. And use me as a vessel to be a blessing to my brothers and my sisters who are listening online. I pray that, Lord, your grace will abound and your glory shall be revealed in the name of Jesus. Spirit of God, have your way and do that which will please the Father. After all is said and done, we'll be careful to give you back the glory. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Ah, Stella, God bless you. I can see you online. God bless you mightily. Amen. I want us to turn our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 24. Isaiah 65 and verse 24. And it says, It shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are still speaking, I will hear. The Lord is saying that before we call, He will answer. And we are speaking, He will still listen to us. He will hear our prayer. It says, He's answered us before we even call. Uh, that's, that's a great promise. That you know that you don't go to prayer for, pray, for the sake of praying. But you know that you will get resource and you will get answers to your prayers. Amen. And Isaiah is reminding us that the Lord is saying that before we even call or come to prayer, He's already answered us. But when we speak, He still listens to us. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 and 8 says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And him that who knocks, it will be opened. This is another assurance. That when we come to God in prayer, He always hears us. According to 1 John chapter 5, He says, This is the confidence we have in Him. That if we pray according to His will, He always hears us. And when He hears us, He always answers us. And this is why we need to go to God in prayer, knowing that He will hear our cry, knowing that He will answer our petitions. If we live according to His will, He said, that The prayer of a sinner I will not hearken to. If you're walking in sin, don't expect God to answer your prayers. You'll be wasting your own time. But if you live the life of holiness, a life of righteousness, a life of purity, then when you call upon Him, He will hear you and He will answer you. And He will answer you speedily. Amen. In the book of Matthew, chapter 21, it says, And whatever things you, are, you ask in your prayer, believing, you will receive it. Say, so whatever you ask in prayer, you should believe it and you will receive it. So don't go asking and hoping and feeling that maybe, maybe God will answer me or maybe he will not. You always have to have that inner assurance, that confidence in the place of prayer. Amen. You should not doubt your prayers. You should not doubt if God will answer your prayers. He has promised and he will not fail. In Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, Call upon me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know. He has promised that when you call, He will answer. 
If God does not answer, he becomes a liar. And we know that God is not a liar. He's not a man to lie, neither the son of man to repent. But God says he's capable. He's well able. He's abundantly able to produce the answers we desire. Amen. It says, again, I say to you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything and to ask, I will be done, it will be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in their midst. Praise the Lord. As we gather as a church, as we gather as a people, as we gather as a, with a friend, agreeing with a friend, the Bible says, whatsoever two shall agree on that as touching, God says, I will do it. I will honor that prayer. I will cause that prayer to come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is our responsibility to go to him with that inner assurance, with that confidence that God hears our prayer and God hears our cry. I had an opportunity when I was very, when I was, was a young Christian. I wasn't a pastor then in back home in Africa. And um, one day I was praying and I asked the Lord, do you really hear me when I pray? I mean, I was, I, I felt like God hears me, but sometimes I think he doesn't hear me. So I asked him, I asked him straight, Straightforward, God, do you hear me when I pray? And he says, and I ask him, if you hear me, show me a notable sign. Let me see something that that will reassure me that when I pray, you hear my prayers. And that day we went, we went to church in the evening. We got everything ready. We started prayer and we did praise and worship. And the pastor took over the pulpit. And the moment the pastor took over the pulpit, there was this crazy guy running into the church room came all the way to the front, knelt down for the pastor to pray for him. Then the Holy Ghost quickened me and told me that this is what you're looking for. This is the assurance I'm giving you that when you pray, I hear you. And it changed my prayer life. Another incident I had when it came to the area of prayer was one day I was praying and I saw a microphone right on top of my head. And I looked up and there was no microphone there. But it was in the spirit. And I asked the Holy Spirit, what is this? And he says, I'm magnifying your voice in the realms of a spirit. I'm giving you a microphone that when you call, heaven will hear. Praise the Lord. That really helped me in my prayer life. That I know that anytime I go on my knees, God hears my cry. And God answers my prayers. It might not do it the time I want him to do it. But I know that I know that I know that when I ask, I will receive. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In Mark chapter 11. This, the disciples had an experience with Jesus when they were going to Jerusalem. And uh, they, Jesus saw this fig tree and it was so green and blossomed. And he went there to see if he can find a fruit on the tree. But when he got there, there was no fruit, just leaves. And he cursed the tree to die. And they left. But when they came back the following morning, when they were passing by, they saw that the tree had dried to the, to the roots. It's completely dead. And the disciples asked him, they were saying, that, how, how, how did this happen? The tree you cast completely dried up. And so in Mark chapter 11, verse 22, he says, have faith in God. Let your faith be based on God. Let your confidence be based on God. He says, have faith in God. Some other translations say, have the God kind of faith. The faith that says, and it happens. Hallelujah. That when you ask, you will receive. When you knock, it shall be opened. When you seek, you shall find. Have that inner assurance. Have that confidence. Praise the Lord. It says, have faith in God. Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Verse 24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and you, it will be yours. Praise the Lord. Anything you ask in prayer, so long as it's not, it's not, it's not praying amiss, because sometimes the Bible says we pray amiss and so we don't get the results we desire because we don't pray in line with God's will. But when we pray in line with His will, He always hears us and He will always answer us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want us to read a couple of scriptures just for you to build your faith up in the place of prayer because all that we do 
should be based on God's word. Prayer of faith is based on quoting God by his word. What he has said concerning a situation or concerning a circumstance, you go back to that scripture and quote him back his word. He says, I will look to my word to perform. As you stand on scripture, you pray the prayer of faith, God will hear your cry and will answer your petitions. Don't underestimate yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Know that, have that inner assurance, have that confidence that God will hear your prayer and will answer your petitions. Amen. In John chapter 15 verse 7, it says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. One of the things why we need to, we need to know that we are, we, 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 our prayers will be answered is when we allow God's word to abide in us and we abide in his word. We put ourselves in his word and we allow his word to infiltrate our hearts. His, his word to dwell richly in us. Then he says, whatsoever we ask in his name, we, he will do it. Whatever we ask in his name, we will get the desires of our hearts. Hallelujah. So this is an, a, a confidence I want you to build within yourself. Like I said, assurance of answer prayer. Knowing that you know, being assured, being confident, being, being settled in your inner man, in your heart. Amen. Not thinking because your mind is a battleground. When it is in your mind, the, bat the enemy will fight it. The enemy will throw things at you and make you think that you, when you pray, God will not hear your prayer. But let it settle in your heart. And when it is settled in your heart, no one can take it away from your heart. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you this afternoon. Anytime you go to God in prayer, know that he will answer you. He will hear your cry. He will hear your petitions. He will hear your desire. And he will grant them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read one more scripture and then we'll pray. In Psalm 91 verse 15. It says, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Praise the Lord. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. If God says it, I believe it and so shall it be. It is settled in heaven. He says he cannot, he cannot deny himself. He, he is his word. He cannot deny his word. What he says, he's capable of bringing it to pass. Have that inner assurance. Have that confidence that when you call, he will answer. When he doesn't answer, when you want him to answer, say, so wait for him. Bible says, through faith and patience, the patriots, the, the, the Abraham, our father, received the promise through faith and patience. When God promised him that he will, get, he will give him a son, it took him 25 years for that promise to come to pass. But Abraham never wavered in, in, in his faith. He stood strong in faith, believing God and trusting God and worshiping God for what he has said. He said, if God has said it, he will do it. Hallelujah. I want you to have that inner assurance too. Have that confidence that God is willing to hear your prayer and is willing to answer your prayers. It is his will that we should call upon him. Say, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Don't faint in the place of prayer. Those who faint, their strength is small. But I pray that the Lord will strengthen your prayer life, will encourage you, will build you up in the area of prayer, that you'll be a dynamite in the kingdom of God. You'll be a, a force to reckon with in the kingdom of darkness. When they hear your voice, they know that somebody who knows what he's doing has come on the scene. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord empower you in all that you do. May he assure you and answer your prayers so that you'll be reassured that God is a prayer answering God. Bible says he's a God that changed not. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he answer prayers in the days of old, he still answers prayers today. And forever, he will answer prayer. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will bless you. I pray for those that, are, that need any kind of prayer. I pray that the Lord will meet you at the point of your needs. He will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. He will cause your desires to be granted according to his word. He says the desires of a righteous shall be granted. So whatever need be in your life, today I stand in agreement with you that the Lord will answer your petitions. He will answer your cry. He will cause his word to come to pass in your life. He will establish your prayer and cause your prayers to be answered in the name of Jesus. 
those that are needing healing, I pray for divine healing to flow through these cameras into your life right now. Be made whole, be healed by the stripes of Jesus. I release the balm of Gilead into your life right now. That be healed from every circumstance, from every sickness, from every disease, from every virus, from every pain, from everything that is contrary to the will of God for your life. May you be healed completely. May you be delivered from the snare of a follower, from the noise and pestilence, and from the arrow that flies at noonday and the destruction at midnight. May the Lord deliver you. May He set you free from every entanglement of the enemy. May He loose you from every captivity in the name of Jesus, that you will stand in the liberty wherein He has placed you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And may the peace of God that transcends all understanding be your portion from today to eternity. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you mightily. God bless you. Thank you. Anulika, I can see you online. God bless you. Thank you so much for sh showing up. Amen. It's a blessing to know you are there and I'm not talking to the air. So I, I so much appreciate I don't take it for granted. Stella, God bless you. Um, I will see you back here Tuesday, same time, 12 noon. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. And, and cause your, the desires of your heart to be granted. May he grant your desires and make, and make you all that he has ordained for you to be. May you run this race and finish your course. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God loves you and I love you too. Bye-bye. I'll see you on Tuesday. God bless you. Bye-bye.